Hello, how are you doing? You're welcome to the channel. I'm your Masova. Please do it to subscribe to the channel, please. Today, we are solving for undefined. When you are talking of undefined, we see some questions like this. They will tell you for what values of x are the expressions undefined. At times, they might tell you that for what values of x are the expressions not defined. It's the same thing. How are we going to solve it? Just very simple. We have our numerator here. Our numerator here is 3. The denominator is x minus 2. Under undefined, what we are most particular about is the denominator. What do I mean? This is our denominator here. You see, see, x minus 2. So we have 5 is our denominator. Equal to 0. Always equate your denominator to 0. And that's all. So what's our x going to be here? x equal to, bring this one here, 2. It's as simple as that you're done. The truth is, because the essence of it is, the essence of undefined is for us to have 0. Now, the denominator. For example, if you check it now, we have 2. Our answer is 2. So by the time we put 2 here, 2 minus 2, that's 0. We've gotten a 0 in the denominator. It's as simple as that. Let's go to the second one. We have 5x squared minus 3 divided by x squared plus 5x plus 6. Like I, as I told you, the denominator you get to zero. So you have x squared plus 5x plus 6. You get to, to zero. This is your quadratic equation. For your quadratic equation, I'm so sure you know we, have, we can use factorization method. This I will advise you to watch our previous video. We have solved factorization. Let's use factorization method to solve this. Let's think of two numbers more time together to get the last number. And by the time we add it together, we give us the middle. Two numbers that I multiply together to get 6. I have 1 and 6. 1 times 6, that is 6. But 1 plus 6 is 7. But this is 5. We cannot use 1 and 6. Let's use 2 and 3. 2 times 3, that's also 6. 2 plus 3, that's 5. It means we are going to use 2 and 3. That is, just straight away, just the x, don't forget we said 2 and 3. Just the x plus 2 and x plus 3 equal to 0. Straight away. So you have x plus 2, now say equal to 0, or x plus 3 equal to 0. Therefore, your x equal to this plus 2, by the time it comes, it's going to be minus 2. Or the second one, this is plus 3, by the time it comes, it's going to be minus 3. That's all. This is the last one. We have two brackets here. Just equate the two brackets to 0. The first one, x minus 2, you get to 0. And second, x squared plus 7x plus 12 also equal to 0. As you can see, this one is straightforward. For x minus 2 equal to 0, therefore your x equal to 2. You are done with that because this is minus 2 by 10 it comes, it's going to be plus 2. That's all. But for the second one, which is also quadratic, factorization method again, like I told you, two numbers multiply together that will give you the last one, which is 12. Two numbers can multiply together, are, we have 2 and 6. 2 times 6, that's 12. 2 plus 6, that's 8. But this is not 8. You cannot use 2 and 6. You also have 4 and 3. 4 times 3, that's 12. 4 plus 3, that's 7. That's a perfect one. So you now have x plus 3, x plus 4, because you said 3 and 4. Now say equal to 0. You now say x plus 3 equal to 0 or x plus 4 equal to 0. Therefore, x equal to this plus 3 by then it comes it's going to be minus 3. Or the second by the time this one comes here, it's also going to be minus 4. So our answers are the first one we got 2, the second minus 3, and the last one and minus 4. And that's all. We have three answers. That's what we mean by undefined. Now this is going to be your game task. Please solve this like I said. The denominator just equate the denominator. To zero and that's all and you get your answer please your answer you can write it in the comment section thank you for watching i hope you find the video interesting take care of yourself please subscribe to the channel take care bye bye